Let me share with you what happened when I started coding. I still remember the day when my first task was assigned to me. When I looked at the code, I felt so overwhelmed. Even though I understood the programming language, I could not understand what the code was doing. It took me double the amount of time to get a task done, which my teammates would do in half time. Also, I was working late in the evenings. I was working during the weekends and I felt really burnt out. I went from being an individual who loved coding to someone who detested it and I was regretting becoming a software engineer in the first place. But hold on, this changed. I transformed from an individual who hated coding to a person who loved it. And not only this, I got promoted within two years. Hi everyone, welcome to this YouTube video. I'm Sonakshi Pandey and in this video, I'm going to share with you my 10 step process that will help you go from hating to code to loving it. So with that, let's get started. Step number one is to understand the system really well. A lot of times when you are given a coding task, you don't always start writing code from scratch. A lot of times the code you write is just an add-on to the existing code. So in this case, ensure that you understand the system really well. The way to do this is by reading the design documents, reading the architecture diagram, and also talking to people who actually build the existing system. This will help you understand the system and it will also help you understand how are you actually contributing on making the system better or adding new features to this? Step number two is learn new things fast. A lot of times when you're trying to understand the system, you will find out that it is built on top of cloud or it uses any third party tools or technologies. So in this case, when you find out about any new dependencies, ensure that you spend time quickly to understand what those dependencies are and if you will be using them in your code, ensure you spend time trying to understand these dependencies and third party tools. Step number three is to have a very clear understanding of the task, the requirements and the success criteria. Don't just jump into coding as soon as you hear a problem. Spend some time trying to get clarity on what are the requirements, who are your customers, what are you building and what does the success criteria of your coding task look like. This will save you some cycles when it comes to code review and getting the code to production. Number four is to understand the coding language fundamentals. Without this, it will take you a real long time to code and it will not be fun. So ensure that you take mini courses or read books to brush up upon your coding language fundamentals. Step number five, spend time in learning how to write clean code. Everyone out there can go and code, but if your code is difficult to read, if it takes too many lines and if it is not very well written, then you will end up getting a lot of negative feedback on your code reviews. So in this case, invest in reading books or watching videos that help you write clean code. Step number six, mix coding with something you love. Play your favorite songs, watch your favorite show, play your favorite music, sit beside a window that has a beautiful view and code side by side. This will ensure that you are, you are happy, you are at peace and you actually enjoy coding. Step number seven is to take ample of breaks while you're coding. Ensure you take a break every few minutes. If you forget to take a break, either leave a small post-it note on your monitor or you know you can also install browser extensions that remind you to take a break every few minutes. Coding is a thinking intensive exercise and giving your mind enough breaks will help you get more efficient with coding. Step number eight is to make Google and Stack Overflow your friend. Don't jump into coding right away as soon as you hear the problem. First, spend a few minutes trying to Google and trying to see if the solution that you're trying to code already exists out there. The goal is to not reinvent the wheel and this will save you some time in your coding cycle and you will be able to deliver the code faster. Step number nine is ask for help. It is okay to be stuck on a coding problem for a few hours or a few days. But if you are stuck on a coding problem for weeks, absolutely reach out to your team members and ask for help. I also highly recommend getting a mentor who will help you with your coding journey. They will help you grow and will answer your questions without actually judging you. 
number 10 is to create a production checklist a lot of times when you write code you also have to write unit tests integration tests performance tests and other modules when you actually publish the code to production so ensure you create a checklist of items that you need to deliver along with your code this will ensure that you have a shorter code review cycle and this will help you publish your code to production faster apart from this ensure that you're healthy you're getting enough hours of sleep you're eating good food and you're also getting your exercise in to write top quality code your health should also be at its best so that was it this was my 10 step secret that will help you fall in love with coding if you found this video to be helpful please like it and subscribe to my youtube channel also follow me on instagram and linkedin where i share a lot of tech updates thank you so much for watching this video have a fantastic day